Good morning boys and girls. How are you? Friends, enemies, relations, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Um, yeah, well, Sunday saw me taking my daughter back to Stansted to go back home, or back to her other home. Torrential rain, didn't even try to video it. And today just out shopping. Nice 48 degrees. <laughs> oh, wrapped up well today. I'm not a lover of extreme cold. Well, I don't mind if I'm wrapped up well. I'm trying out a new camera mount today on the GoPro. Um, I'll show it to you later or towards the end of this video. What's it got going for it? At the moment, it feels slightly bulkier, but it feels far, far, far more secure. It feels solid. Um, and the other thing it's got going for it is, it doesn't matter where you mount it on your helmet, you find a position for it. So really, this is just me letting you know there's another one on the market. Um, it's from Umotos, U-M-O-T-O-S. You'll find them on Facebook. And as soon as I get back from doing a bit of shopping, I'll show you. I unpacked it earlier, so the unpacking video will come after the ride. <laughs> That's me, ask about face. Who gives a fuck? I'm sorry. So we'll have a look at it and see what you think. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at this view when I get back and see what the camera angle is like. I've always had the problem of having far too much helmet showing in the video and I'm hoping that this one has allowed me to move the camera forward and it will reduce the amount of video the amount of helmet shown in the video I shouldn't have got out of bed this morning I'm talking rubbish so it's given personally it's given me a lot more opportunities to, to maneuver it into different positions so that pleases me um, it looks a bit odd because it's in grey, it's the beta mode. I think if it was in black, in fact I know if it was in black, I actually levelled it up against the original um, dead cat dot mount that I've been using for the last year quite satisfactorily. And actually the dimensions are no different. But because it's round instead of square on the elbow, it looks bigger, it's, it's really peculiar. But if you take away the areas of the joint around where it's swivelled on the old dead cat, it's probably dimensionally fractionally smaller. So it's one of those things you look at because it's in grey and because it's a different shape, you think, oh God. But putting it on the helmet and finding the positions you can move your camera into, And the options it gives you, um, I think it's going to become an, a new best friend. But I'm going to have to colour it black, that's for sure. I'm not sure I can live with it grey because against the black helmet it stands out like a sore thumb and I think that's what makes it odd. We'll see, I'll show it to you and you make up your own mind. Okay, good morning chaps, chapesses. As you all know, I've been using the um, dead cat dot um, mountain bracket. Now, 
I had a lot of issues with the breakages of GoPro and got really, really sick and tired of GoPro. Went to Dead Cat and for the last year I've had fantastic results from it. Now this is a beta product. So, let's try not to slash everything. Put my knife down so I can sit on it later. New product. So, let's have a look. Let's have a look together. <laughs> well, first impression. Solid, very, very solid. Very directional. Um, actually, I can do a lot with this. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to pop it on my helmet and come back to you when I've played with them, I suppose. Okay. What do I think? It brings my camera slightly further forward, which is what I wanted. I did want the camera to be slightly further forward. Um, it does initially look and feel bulky, but I've just actually <coughs> I've just actually lined it all up with the original brackets. Um, more or less the same size. It's deceptive. I think a lot of it is because it is slightly stronger. That is more solid rather than these flimsy little leg, or not flimsy, they've done me well over a year. These square legs have been converted to a round, smooth, um, I don't know what you call that angle, not being clever. So you've swapped that for that. Um, <coughs> I think what's getting me is it's in grey and it looks out of place and it's the first time to look at it. So I'm not sure. With the helmet on, it doesn't actually look that much different. You tell me. Um, I'm going to definitely give it a period of time. I will give it a period of time, like I did with the last one, and get back to you. Now, the dead cat I've had for a year, and it's not given me any problems. Previous to that, I had an awful lot of issues with the GoPro mounts, or the GoPro scaffolding, as I call it. So the dead cat took away all that scaffolding and breakages brilliant um, I'm really over the moon about that and we'll give this one a period of time and see if this can be as good um, the angles might be odd I, I've got no way of telling until I've been on this ride so it's a case of play and error and we'll take it from there so for now Bye bye chaps, ride safe, stay happy, 